This video was made possible by Mizizi International, the official African diaspora clothing brand. Visit MiziziShop.com for more information. On Sunday, Algeria unveiled a massive mosque along its Mediterranean coastline following years of political turmoil. This mosque is Africa's largest mosque and the third largest mosque in the world. Nevertheless, the journey to this achievement has not always been smooth as political challenges transformed the project from a symbol of state-endorsed authority and religious commitment into one mired by delays and financial overruns. Before we dive into our topic today, if you haven't already, please consider to subscribe to our channels and ringing the bell to be notified about all our exciting future videos. Constructed by a Chinese construction company throughout the 2010s, the Great Mosque of Algiers boasts the tallest minaret globally, standing at an impressive 869 feet, or approximately 265 meters. As the third largest mosque globally and the largest beyond Islam's revered cities, its prayer hall can host a staggering 120,000 worshippers. Marrying modernist architecture with Arab and North African influences, the mosque pays homage to Algerian heritage and customs. Intriguingly, it also features a helicopter landing pad and a library capable of holding a remarkable one million books. Ali Mohamed Salavi, the General Secretary of the World Union of Muslim Ulamas, stated that the inauguration would lead Muslims towards goodness and moderation. Algerian President Abdelmajid Taboun formally inaugurated the mosque in a largely ceremonial event, as the mosque had been accessible to tourists and state visitors to Algeria for approximately five years. An initial ceremony had faced delays. The timing of the inauguration enables the mosque to officially welcome the public just in time to host nightly prayers during the upcoming Muslim holy month of Ramadan, commencing next month. Throughout the seven years of construction, the project faced persistent delays and controversy, particularly concerning the chosen site, which experts cautioned was prone to seismic risks. However, the state refuted these concerns in a news release published on Sunday by Algeri Press Service, the state news agency. Numerous Algerians were not exactly enthused about the project and felt that the money could have been used to provide healthcare services. They voiced criticism of the project, expressing a preference for the construction of four hospitals across the country instead. Originally envisioned as the brainchild of former President Abdelaziz Bouteflika, the mosque was intended to be his lasting legacy, bearing the name Abdelaziz Bouteflika Mosque, akin to the famed Mosque Hassan II in Casablanca, Morocco, named after the former Moroccan king, Algeria's neighboring rival. Comparable to its Moroccan counterpart, which was once celebrated as Africa's largest mosque, the ambitious project faced a similar fate. The widespread protests that engulfed Algeria in 2019, leading to Bouteflika's resignation after two decades in power, thwarted his aspirations of naming the mosque after himself or inaugurating it as planned in February 2019. As we reflect on the unveiling of Africa's largest mosque in Algeria and the complexities of its construction journey, it is essential to acknowledge the shadows that loomed over the Bouteflika era. Suspicions of corruption, intertwined with major infrastructure projects such as the mosque, a national highway, and one million housing units, left an indelible mark on Algeria's recent history. Allegations of kickbacks to contractors further added to the intricate web involving state officials. We hope you found this exploration enlightening and informative. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the New Africa channel for more exciting future videos.